In the last two videos, we talked about knitting socks from toe up using Turkish kazan, increase, and optional ribbing, and we finish it with a stretchy bind off. Today, we are going to talk about the heels, how to cut it open and make the heels. First, we have to talk about the shape of the toes or heels. I draw three popular toe or heel shapes on a graph paper so you can see clearly. There are several types you can use. Uh, for example, the first one is what we did for our toe. We increase every other rung. We have one rung increase and uh, knit all around for the next one and one wrong increase one wrong just knit all around it creates an angle that's pretty sharp and the second choice is to have half of the stitch the same as the first one increase every other wrong and the second part you can increase every wrong that creates a different shape and the third type is the opposite. It creates more mild circle, circular shape. I actually like this one better, but any of them will work. I'm sure there are many other ways you can do this too. If you're not sure, you can draw on a graph paper and see if you like it or not. For the heels, I think the number one might be a little bit sharp. I like to try the number three so it's more of a curve that's not not so sharp. So that makes the heel a little bit different because it's you will be shorter distance compared to the number one. We can measure the toes we just need from the tip of the toe to the end of increase. It's about one and a half or one point seven five inches so when we do the heels it will be like that you will, this will be the extra piece so that's how we decide where to put the heels so how do we find out where to cut open for the heels first you try it on and then move it a little bit to the front maybe an inch and a half it depends on what type of heels you are going to make Now if you look closely, you can see we pick up one stitch and we are going to pick up stitch above and below that row. That's what it looks like. We pick up the right leg of the V from the, the row below and uh, we just keep going. The next V, pick up the right leg. Okay, now I pick up half of the stitch of one full round and then we are going to do the other side. I'll pull the needle out and turn and the same way we want to pick up the right leg and we leave one row with the stitch on and below that row we'll pick up the right leg of the V. like that. We pick up the right leg of the V and we just keep going. Okay, now you pick up the same amount of stitch as the other needle. You can see that's what it looks like. There's still one row in the center. Now we are going to cut the stitches. The stitch that with the marker, we'll just cut it. like so and then we start to unravel it carefully on both sides we use we can use any needle to open up the stitches one by one carefully 
Now I open up one side. We just turn around and continue doing the other side. Now we open up both sides. You can see what it looks like. There's a little yarn tail at each end. So after we finish, we can weave in the yarn end. Next thing we want to do is to attach new yarns. Start knitting one row of plain knitting. There are many ways you can avoid holes. You can pick up stitches and uh, knit it together to bring it back to original stitches. Or you can switch these two stitches and uh, that will tighten up the hole. I'm going to try to switch these two stitches first and see how it goes. To start to knit in a round again, we add a new yarn, yarn tail here. And we pull out the needle from behind and just start knitting. This is a new yarn, working yarn. And we just keep going for this row. Now we are at the last stitch here. I'm going to just put it in the right stitch because we are trying to switch the last two stitches and I'll move the needle so it's back to the position okay now we can switch those two stitches to make it easier to switch the last two stitches I will use an extra needle it doesn't have to be this one but any knitting needle will be okay and we move this stitch off the needle, place on the other stitches, and then we pick up the the last stitch from the original left needle, and then move it up, place it on the right needle, place the left stitch on the right needle. Now we have we will continue knitting the last stitch and starting the first stitch on the other needle. To make it easier to knit the last stitch, I will move it to a different needle. I will move it to this needle. Let's take out this stitch. And I'll just knit off this stitch. The right leg, the right leg should be in the front, but in the back, it make it a twisted stitch. It might be tighter. Okay. After knitting the last stitch, we can turn around, pull out the needle in the back, and just continue knitting. Here we are, the end of the row again. We will do the same thing. I can move this one to the right needle. Oops, and uh, push the needle back so you can see the end stitch on both needles. We are going to switch those two stitches, this one and this one, and we'll use an extra needle to help. This is the last stitch I moved from the right needle and then move it onto the left needle transfer to the left needle like that and we pick up the last stitch on the left needle and transfer to the right needle make sure it gets tighter just by pulling the yarns from behind okay now it looks better and then we can start knitting the last stitch and then start the other side now we look at the chart again to see which type of heels you want to decrease. We can do the same as a toe and decrease every other rung, but I prefer this look. Uh, it's less sharp, it's more rounded. I think it will look better for the heels. Uh, we do every other rung decrease first for the half of the decrease. 
and then we do every round decrease so we are going to do decrease in this round and on the right side we are going to do a SSK and the left side we do a knit two together so you make a nice looking symmetrical decrease and we do it on the uh, not the first stitch but the, between the second and third from the right and also the second and third from the left side and we do the same thing on the other side from the second and third we do the SSK on the right side and on the left side we do the knit two together between the second and third stitch in okay let's get started we'll pull out the needle from the back and we need the first stitch find your working yarn need the first stitch you tighten it up a little bit just pull the yarn ends now we are going to do the slip slip knit SSK on the second and third stitch so we slip slip insert the needle from the left and knit together now this one stitch decreased and we keep knitting now we have three stitch left we are going to do a knit two together and then knit one stitch here's the knit two together so one stitch decrease and last stitch we just knit now we're done with this needle we tighten it up a little bit and we'll do the same thing on the other side we need one stitch SSK need to the last three stitch and need two together and then need the last stitch and after that we need one round of plain stitch because of the chart we try to make one decrease round one plain stitch one decrease one plain stitch for half of the decrease and the other half we will do decrease every round until we have the same stitch as the, the cast on stitch that's the cast on stitch and also the final stitch we are going to reduce it to for the heels another tip is to put all the yarn tails into the center of the socks so you don't get confused another tip is to put a stitch marker on one side of the socks so you know which side is your starting side and you don't confused which side you need already and which side you haven't need yet this is the last round of the decrease I'm just going to show you again knit the first stitch and the SSK sleep sleep knit and knit until the last three stitches okay last three stitches and knit two together and then need the last stitch now we only have seven we only have seven stitches left and we do the same on the other side pull out the needle knit knit the first stitch and then SSK S S K knit together sleep sleep knit okay and we keep knitting until the last three stitches Oops. last three stitches and we knit two together 
and then need the last stitch okay now we have the same stitch as our cast down stitch in my case it's seven stitches and we can do a we can do a kitchener stitch to finish this or we can do the three needle bind off we can turn it inside out and do a three needle bind off now you can see this is the toe and this side is the heels the heel is more rounded because I have decreased every other rung for the first part and the second part I have decreased every round now we are ready for Kitchener stitch the easier way to make a Kitchener stitch is to knit from the back side um, so we have to turn around inside out and an easier way is to cut a piece of yarn and thread it over the needle so we will have one yarn on this side the other yarn on the other side and we turn it inside out okay now this side is on the waist yarn we will do the same on the other side now the waist yarn is on both sides of the stitches we can now turn it inside out now we turn it inside out you can see all the stitches on the waist yarn and here is the end of the tail and we cut a piece of the working yarn about three or four times of the size um, and we thread it I find it easier to put the needle back instead of, instead of just using the waist yarn and now we can take out the waist yarn if you want or you can leave it on it really doesn't matter and we'll look where the working yarn is coming out from now I have working yarn in the bottom so the first stitch will be the first stitch on the top since we are in the bottom we'll go up I will go up through the first stitch and then back down to the same stitch that's the first stitch I take out the waist yarn so it's easier to see what's going on and we're going to go up again and we go to the second stitch we thread the yarn through I usually do it knit wise and then knit wise go back to the first stitch so each stitch will be worked on twice now we go go back to the first stitch then we go back down to the new stitch after the first stitch we go to the second stitch and knit down go from the top down and go back to the second stitch we already have yarn through once and now we do the next stitch the new stitch next to the old one going up and we go to the second stitch the old stitch and now we go down from the new stitch the next stitch going down
and then we're going down to the previous stitch in the bottom so every stitch we go twice it's always one new stitch and then one old stitch okay now the new stitch next to it going up and the old stitch the one we already work on old stitch going up on the top okay and then new stitch next to the old stitch going down and then going down again to the old stitch okay and we keep going the next stitch that's a new stitch going up and then the top top needle we go back to the last stitch the old stitch and then new new stitch going down and then go back to the old stitch again going down okay and then new stitch up old stitch up and then new stitch down and then old stitch down and then new stitch up the next stitch new stitch up and then old stitch up and then the last stitch the new stitch down and then old stitch down that's the uh, last one okay that's what it looks like now I'm going to try to take off the needle see what it looks like everything should be bound off and we need a little bit tuck make it tighter a little bit and we'll turn it over and see how it looks like this is what it looks like when the right side is out it's pretty continuous and this is what the heel looks like and here is the edge of the heels so that's what it looks like finished socks see the angle is not too deep the heel looks like it's in the right place so everything looks fine and you can adjust the location of the heels after you pick up the stitches you can do a short row heel too you can try look at the garter stitch heel it's a little bit thicker and more cushion and you can also try different short rows like a German short row that will have a different look than just the decreased short row now you have your first sock finished now it's time to make the second one to match your first one so you can start wearing it <laughs>